receiving this is the first game from match day number three of the FIVB Men's World Grand Champions Cup here in Japan. Mirin Osaka having moved from Nagoya and the first point goes the way of Iran. Now this Hoss getting aced. Work from Maurizio getting that one cross court. Fired Gaiani. Maurizio now go back to serve. Free ball then for Brazil. And straight away, Bruno establishing Lucas as quickly as he can. Nice work as well, running that in between the outside attacker and the middle blocker into that gap, so both of them having to stretch inside. Maurizio. That one got through the gap, but it didn't land in court. We're going to challenge for a touch off the block. Coaches have a couple of challenges in each set. They can challenge ball in and out, ball hitting the antenna, net touch by the opponent, foot faults, center line, three meter line, and baseline and also a four-touch challenge. So if the referee gives deems that the ball's gone into the net, hasn't touched the block, and calls for four touches when it's played again, you can challenge that. So first job for Mr. Andrei Zenovich, the challenge referee today from Russia, in uh, conjunction with the challenge team, looking at the footage to see whether or not Iran's point to whether it will be Brazil's. There is a, a shadow, and they're saying there's no touch, there's no, absolutely no deviation of the ball, is there? And the problem is Kolakovic is saying, come on, it touched. And for those of you that know, then you'll uh, have uh, some sympathy perhaps with Kolakovic, but the picture doesn't translate well to broadcast screens. The reason being that the challenge system cameras are in excess of uh, a couple of hundred frames per second. Broadcast cameras work at 25 frames PAL and uh, 59 frames here I believe we're uh, NTSC. So there's a whole bunch of frames missing. And then when you put it up on the big screen, those frames are filled in, there's a lot of noise, a lot of interference, it doesn't look great. But sat up in the challenge team, in the, uh, where all the monitors are, with the uh, as they have, they could quite clearly see the ball wasn't touched. I guess maybe the next thing we'll get is a hotspot camera, perhaps, a bit like you see in certain sports, particularly in cricket, where you'll get that uh, view. If that ball, if you use the hotspot camera, we'd have a black and white image and you'd see whether or not there was a hotspot as that ball went past the arm, suggesting a transfer of energy and a, a contact. Block out then for Iran. Gavor has been very, very good coming into this tournament, coming into this match, I should say, the opposite player. 36 points so far for him. Three blocks, 33 spikes. Now Souza's in on the action. So Bruno's just got everybody up and having a swing. The Wallace from the serving line. Oh, cheap point for Iran.
Kayami. Well, that's a really good chase and pick up by the Libro for Iran. Iran were around the perimeters of the court, ready for the ball off of the block, and now they get it off the block and away. Very nice transition volleyball from Iran. A little bit lucky, but did very well not for it. A carry not to have been called. It was an excellent pick up by uh, Mirandi that led to the point. Never going to beat Bruno in a joust. Very rarely beat a setter in a joust. Bruno flexing his pecs. Back down on the Iran side. Good lead from Iran. Plenty of Iranian supporters in. Very nice serve from Iran, the back in front. And we were a couple behind. Now they've uh, got themselves the lead, courtesy of that. Very nice serve by Musavi. into the second or the first technical timeout. It's a two-point lead for Iran. It's all smiles for the team in blue. scored from service. Iran with three, Brazil with two. Because of the virtue of the side out as well. Lead by two. Play. Brazil have to go again. Wallace flying from the back row. Wallace, a product of the junior program of volleyball at Sada Cruzeiro, played there. Entire career until a couple of seasons ago, where he left. Brazil get themselves back level. Very nice commit block from Lucas. Wallace now playing his volleyball for Tobate. Good look from the eye. Net camera. That one coming straight back. So a block followed by an error, and it's Brazil who turned it around there, back in front. Souza. Thundering that one off the block. Oh, he got it into transition. No one able to 
win the point just yet until Wallace went up and had a swing. Looks like Wallace has got an extra number on his shorts. Slight printing error perhaps. Joust. It's a good up from Lucarelli. And good work from him. In play, putting it to position one. Well watched by Maurizio. Oh, brilliant swing from Lucas as Bruno goes middle in transition. Lucas off just a one step approach. Great pick up from Lucarelli. Sousa with the serve. Still now leading by three. So they've got a mismatch for Iran to work. Bruno, not the biggest blocker in world volleyball. About him more taller and able to get the wipe off. Maru thought that it was going out, he's left it, he could have played it. Doesn't look like they're going to challenge it though. If this ball is shadowing the line, it's in. It's in. The reason I say that of a ball shadowing the line is in because it's now improved with the uh, technology from the Hawkeye system it compresses down on the floor to almost its circumference. Pretty much all of it, so chances are it's going to be in if it shadows the light. You don't see that compression, it's so quick. Very nice from Maruf. He's not your classic set, doesn't take that ball right above his head all the time. He takes this one from right in front of him and quite low. You can see that right by his nose and just boom, shooting it out. And Lucas was out to lunch, wasn't he? No chance. Maruf, such a good setter, but not in a, the mould at which you would be training setters in terms of uh, contact. get their side out. And so far so good for Brazil. They've uh, got themselves a four point lead. They know what it's, what's going to happen. Switch off for a second. Iran will be right back at them. Oh, no! All the noise you can hear from the Iranian fans shouting and screaming as the Brazilian players go to serve. For once, it is the fans and not the players who were doing that in the last few days. But they're a little bit too far away now. The Subs area is way back out of the way to really affect anything. Both sides. 
Lucarelli getting the ball down. Second technical timeout, Brazil then leading by four in this first set. Bruno got himself, he was caught in the net, Bruno didn't really, he had that uh, movement outside and then it, the ball was popped down in front of Wallace who, in all fairness to him, probably could have done better than that, not the best start position for him. Brazil's opposite proving to be more effective than Iran's. Kapoor, number 10 for Iran's, but pretty quiet. Maybe in part though due to Brazil's serving and not allowing that opposite to be an option. Or also in part because the ball's pretty good. And that means the middle's available. Maruf likes to go middle whenever he can. Stressing Souza, stressing Lucas. The more the middle is used, the more the middle gets stressed on the other side, the more the middle on the other side is going to hold and wait because they're getting a bit frustrated, they want to make some blocks. A tame hit from Maurizio that's dealt with by Iran. The more the blockers get stressed, the more the options then open up out on the wings. What Bruno's done to himself, got a bit of strapping. He's not tattooed, he's got some strapping on his arm. Wasn't noticeable in, uh, in day two of competition. That's a nice dig from Souza. Um, Lucarelli not moved from the spike that's gone nine meters to then the contact as well. To be played, got touched, and Lucarelli on his on his heels. It's a desperate attempt from Marandi, but he was never going to get there in time. by Lucarelli. For that to be off the block, not given. Don't think there's going to be a challenge either. Well, there is, in fact. Wallace convinced he's off the arms and away. Not that convinced at first glance, did Wallace. But we're going to find out. But if it is, then it would change the score quite considerably, wouldn't it, from 17-19, just two behind Iran, to 16-20. Well, 
Oh, it's not touched anybody. Oh, it has. I'm seeing a little finger move. Ah, do you know what? The little fingers moved. The little fingers moved because Wallace touched his finger with his finger. There you go. Wallace's finger touches the blocker's finger. The ball doesn't. That's why it's no touch. Seventeen, nineteen. It is Iran with the serve. Brazil's passing unit way back. That's good work, Lucas. Staying behind Bruno the whole time. So even though Bruno's setting this off the net, where he comes to, Lucas hits an A quick by taking off on the three-meter line. That's quality. And as a middle blocker at this level, you need to be able to do that. If he'd have got in front of Bruno with that, he'd have had no angles to swing on the ball. It would have been really tricky. A free point for Iran. Manavi number 14 has come in to replace Garmi number 5, and then coming on to serve Gara number 17. Ace serve for Iran. Massive stroke of luck. It's interesting. Brazil called the timeout, but that ball could have hit the net and easily gone down Iran's side. It's not as if Brazil did anything wrong. Completely something, something you can't legislate for. The timeout. Like a couple of schools of thought, some coaches may have let that ride. Others, like Renan, decided to pull the time. of his reach jumping up to put that into Lucas's spike zone. Oh, he's got that right through the arms as well of Saeed and as uh, Julius Brink has said, that one through the letterbox. Those of you that have been uh, following this tournament throughout the men's event will have uh, no doubt heard Julius as an expert analyst, Julius Brink, former World Championship gold medal winner on the beach in 2009, Olympic champion in London 2012. Great swing from Lucas again. Brazil now just three points away from taking this first set, and it's Iran who called the timeout. It's not bad, is it, to have middle blockers who can run a pipe? We are getting to total volleyball from Brazil. Wallace touched the net.
Salaf Zoun is in. He's a straight replacement blocking-wise, but he's a lot taller than Marouf. And uh, you can quite clearly see Iran stacking over near the referee exactly where the serve's coming from. But it's not a screen, apparently. Fine margins between a screen and not a screening and stopping the opposition from being able to see the server. Lovely blocking, Saeed just poking his hands across the net to stop that one coming over on the little roll shot. Iran now just one back. Again, Gafford just organising his three players in front of him, but not before Brazil call the timeout. the serve they're one back going after Lucarelli but uh, Maurizio comes in and takes it back row pass it to now Lucarelli to get out wide but it doesn't go to him and it's off of his block and away Irana level 22 all no timeouts left Sousa's blocks high, but it's not across the net. If he'd have got straight across the net, he would have gone straight down. And Maurizio Sousa goes off. Santos has come in to replace him. Renan not happy with the way Sousa playing, obviously. But also, it does give a bit of a breather just to try and stop what Iran are doing. And that one's come off the block. Iran, we're about to do a lap of honour. He's going to challenge this one as well as to whether or not he's come off the arms. So the question is, did it come off of uh, Manavi number 14? He's saying no, Said wants a challenge. Now it comes. Eight seconds after the whistle goes is what you're allowed to make a challenge. Looking for block touch. In fact, the, the challenges we've had so far have all been about the block touch, haven't they? And they've been so tight, so difficult that you couldn't tell from the, uh, the view in real time. And that one is off of the block and away. That's an odd one, isn't it? The player must have felt that. But then maybe he didn't, obviously, otherwise he wouldn't have called for a challenge. Or maybe thinking it was such a small touch it might not even get noticed. Nothing escapes Hawkeye. Brazil have that side out then. They've edged in front here. Wallace with the serve. Just have to uh, turn the scoreboard back around. That's the part of the problem because if the point goes to the score table, can be a little bit too efficient at times, which isn't a problem, but it has caused a little bit of an issue because they then have to um, the scoreboard once the points been given, they change it straight away. So it's 23 22 to Iran, and then there's a challenge come, and then they have to reverse it and turn it back round again. It's almost one of those things where there's nothing wrong waiting the eight seconds before you actually go with the um, moving the points over especially when you can see players making the challenge signal so the referee actually then blows for the next serve but it's a no-win situation for the scorers table because then the other team are going you haven't given us a point you haven't given us a point it's a bit like the New York second and when the lights go green in New York if you haven't moved the, the horns are going. Say if you haven't added that score on, the other team will be on your case. So still trying to amend that situation down at the scorers' table. We have the right score, 
They don't want to make a couple of changes. In the first instance, they want to make one change. Renan to come in, 2 meters 17. <laughs> He's absolutely huge, isn't he? Makes uh, Bruno look like a small boy as he gets past him. Renan comes in. And Bruno comes out. No recognised setter on court. They'll try and pop it up to the mid-court just by the, behind the baseline if they can. Uh, the centre line and probably Brendel will pop it up in the air. But they're hoping they can make something happen with the block here. Isaac and in the middle. And it's a brilliant serve. Uh, Brazil now have set point. Renan right not having to do anything at the moment except celebrate. Minardi beaten. Well, it's once again. Oh, wow. Free swing. There was a free swing through the middle. Can you believe that that was missed on the pipe attack? An unforced error from Iran, and it's the set goes to Brazil, 25-22. They lead by one set to nothing. Well, you wouldn't have thought that. Iran have played exceptionally well. And to have a free net and then miss it. Goodness me. Iran will rue that. stats from the first set. Four aces from Iran did serve extremely well. Brazil was 17 points from attacks and gave seven errors away. It could have gone either way. It was the key errors. It's not about the number of errors you make. It's about when you make them. Iran making one on set point very costly. So here's a serving placement from Brazil. They've gone after the front court swing hitter as much as possible. Trying to overload that area. And that means as well that for all of those balls you can see that are going towards three and then going back out to four, they'll all be negative sets where the setter is having to take that energy into his hands and then give his own energy back to the ball to get it out wide, makes it a little bit slower, gives the opposition time, but it also means that speeding it up behind so it's a little bit quicker going behind the setter's head. But as um, Maruf likes to go middle, maybe Brazil thinking that maybe gives him just a little bit longer to see what's going on. Although with Maruf setting, you don't really get that much longer. Or you don't get any longer. Brazil, they're going to bring uh, 
Souza back on to court. He'll start the second set. Mauricio uh, gets the serve away. Lucarelli, who goes up and then presses, gets beat. His hands are up pretty much straight in the air when he gets hit. The press is a little too late. It really wasn't a press, he just made uh, put his hands forward. up for that earlier discretion or digression indiscretion oh, yeah, got there in the end. with the uh, with the ball put down the line we talk about blocking and talk about it a lot but what you get above the net needs to get across the net to get the angle to get as close to the ball as possible and that's what you're looking to do get your hands as close to that ball as possible to shut down angles and give the attackers nowhere to go Class Wallace goes cross court. That was a nice touch. From Brazil, they get the ball. Souza making a touch with his uh, feet still on the floor. He got to the middle and just kept his hands up there. Brazil. So far, they're not giving Iran anything to feed off, really. Just the odd point here and there. But Iran do make a habit of celebrating very loudly when the opposition make a mistake. Trying to be, trying to get some psychology going. Trying to be uh, getting under the skin of the other team. The sort of stuff you see, you know, really in amateur volleyball. It's funny, isn't it? Even at this level, some teams still think that that's a way forward and a way to play. And, and then when it does work, they believe that's the they're going to carry on doing it. The Rams volleyball is world class. And when they are on form and when they are working as a team, they're very difficult to beat. And really, it's a team that have come to the fore since Maruf has been playing. There's some good athletes around him. And certainly put Iran on the map. That's a wonderful swing. That's what Gafour can do, that's why he's in the team. But what a set that is for Maruf to open up that line shot. Nice touch. Brilliant work. Getting that ball up, putting it away in transition. Iran leading by two. Very nice hit as well. Bad doing a very good impression of Maurizio up waiting and then swinging fast with the arm. And Brazil call the timeout.
Roof to serve. Great dig. Nobody covering deep though. And all that effort is for nothing in the end. That was a, an amazing dig by Mirandi. Bruno. Brendel was waiting, but he couldn't make the dig. He's a little word with himself. We go to the technical timeout. Iran leading by three. with the serve coming to this game 38 points actually leading the team in points after two matches so Lucas gets that one off the block Serves for Maurizio. A bit of confusion for Brazil. Iran could profit. <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely world class again. I had a feeling maybe that was coming because Bruno just loves to do that. But what a cut to the line that is as well. Lucas over at Garmi didn't jump, had no chance. They've all been cramped up over by the ref. But Lucas finds a way through. And now he has the serve. And it's a great serve as well. Brazil get themselves another point. Flooding the middle, denying Miran the opportunity to get that side out. Brazil just one behind now. towards the net in a bid maybe for that to go off the block and out but it's uh, Gafour with a, a big gaff of a swing and, uh, it's nine all
crowd off the head of Wallace. Right into his face, actually. Garvey did apologise. Every player in the team can hit the pipe. Maurizio, Wallace, Lucarelli, Lucas. The person we haven't seen hit a pipe is Souza. Massive serve from Wallace. I think he's fired up after that ball went into his face. Touch off of that set from there if it wasn't given. Set as prerogative as Marika was to put the ball out wide. Most of those shouts were coming from the bench, nothing from the players. Garmi with the serve. was kind as that one popped up. Could have done some serious damage. Just put the ball into space. Looked like a bit of a carry from Maruf to go to the middle. Which I was just saying that. And, uh, his expression or his uh, movements to the referee, but the referee having none of it. Oh, Rendell got in the way of that one again, but he's having no luck making a dig. Mind you, it came at him so fast. Very little chance to do anything other than not get hurt. A little bit of luck. Richard kicking that one back into play. And it fell very kindly for Brazil. Wallace through the letterbox, posting a point for Brazil. It's definitely not Gafour's day at the moment. Number 10 opposite hitter for Iran's had two fantastic matches so far coming into this one. We just wonder whether or not 10 sets of volleyball in two days is taking it out of him. He's struggling. Souza. In 
into the second technical timeout. Brazil leading by three and by one set to nothing. wasn't set properly for Iran, still moving laterally, not closing down at the net, so not getting the hands across the net. So the ball down in front of them and then they were moving away from it as well, so couldn't kick it back into play either. I think that that ball was firmly off of all of the hand and not on any part of the floor. Right under the referee's nose, had the perfect view. They're out for time out. Trained by four. Side. It's going to be a change coming. Manavi's gone in. Manavi's gone out. well to make the net at all, almost missed the net. Complete miss hit from Vadipur. That can sometimes happen when you're chasing points, trying to make something happen. It's got a little too tense, and then you make more errors. by Lucas, Bruno's on to it. Oh, ran out the side out. That's quite... Brazil had a couple of swings, but couldn't do anything meaningful with the ball. Gara coming in to serve. Baezzi, going to have a sit down.
good out from Gafour. Free ball for Brazil. Four attacking options available. Three in the front. And it's Lucas, the quickest point of attack, putting the ball down. Lucas going, Maurizio right behind. The amount of pressure there is on the blockers. If had a gun to Maurizio, he'd have had a free swing. No serving run this time for Lucas. Salaf soon comes back in, he did this in the first set, doing it again here in the second as a blocking substitution, but also a setter as well. Salaf soon goes back off, Maroof is in, Wallace will serve. Better opportunity now, this for Brazil. And Lucarelli getting past the block, putting the ball down. Brazil well up in this second set. And kept Iran at bay. with the number of errors they've made. So Wallace's printing's gone awry on his shorts, eight on the front and on the back. Must like it from Gaffai, just hasn't done enough of those. Saying he hasn't received enough of the ball. And when he has, he's still made more errors than he would normally make in a match. Brazil to bring up the set point chance. It's a double sub for Brazil. Renan is in in the front row, Rafael in the back row to set. Maybe Lucarelli with the serve. Inside the antenna, just going to call the line judge over because Iran were pointing. I'm not sure that they realised it was played outside the antenna by Iran. So it is an error from Iran. They might be challenging this though, so it won't be just going to the end of the set just yet. We're all going to get a very good view of exactly what happened. But both line judges were pointing to the antenna and waving their flags very quickly on the side of Brazil. We're going to see whether or not the block has put the ball onto the antenna. The block has touched the antenna. The ball has gone outside the antenna. Oh, look at that, Renan. Touching the antenna with his massive paws. So it isn't the end of the set. Iran with a successful challenge. It is going to be 19-24. One side out required for Brazil. 
which they duly get through the middle through Souza. Brazil take it 25 19. They lead Iran by two sets to nothing. Statistics for that last set. And right, only making six errors. I think Gafour made most of those. Brazil, four blocks. That was very important, plus their ace. Brazil's set of contact points, that green area, the uh, ideal place to, for the ball to be set from. Just six balls that weren't, well, no, actually, let's say just the four that weren't really ideally where they should have been. So we've got that contact point. So you could also see that from the heights as well, which the ball would have been set. It has also given us during the course of this tournament a, a more realistic idea of how high the boys are, are hitting the ball. You look at some of the spike heights in stats. It says here that, uh, for example, that Musavi of Iran uh, touches uh, three meters sixty-two. Well, he does when he's jumping up and trying to get his hand onto. Uh, a tape or a plaque on the wall or whatever it might be but it's very different to when you go up jump and have a spike and, s and swing on the ball we're seeing heights uh, spike heights in the region of uh, three meters 30 between 320 330 the average kind of there's the, the zones of which the ball is being hit in terms of height away we go then with this Third set, it's Iran with a serve, but they're trailing Brazil by two sets to nothing at the moment. Nice stick by Marouf. Middle still not quite functioning, but it is for Iran. Marouf saying, well, if you're going to keep going there, Bruno, so will I. First point on the board for Iran in this set. And the second. You can see at the top of the net. Looking at Iran's two five set matches. Can't do anything about that, could have gone anywhere. Oh, that's a shame it rolled all the way up the arm. Not the skills that they really wanted to show. 
Iran's game against Italy was uh, won the first, lost the second, won the third, lost the fourth, won the fifth. Against the USA, they lost the first two sets, 25-20, 25-17, and then won the next two, 27-25, 25-21. So Brazil know that by no means are they home and host here. By no means are Iran going to let this set go cheaply. And that is evident by the fact they are now leading 3-0. Manavi has come in for this set to replace Garmi, something he did in the game against the USA, which begs the question, why did he not just start the game? 3-0 down, Brazil have caught a timeout. Badipal once again. <laughs> Commit block from Iran and they now lead 4 nothing. USA team looking on, Dustin Watson with his... Uh, <laughs> he's seen himself on the big screen. <laughs> with his uh, word strong has been etched into the side of his head. Start this is from Iran. <laughs> it's getting better and better and better. Five nothing, two massive blocks. Still don't really know what to do here at the minute. Why is he an enormous block? Got some long arms on him. Settles things down, gets it off of Manavi in a way. Outside the antenna, comes back outside the antenna, play can continues. Maurizio gets it on Iran's side. Brendel with another good dig. Oh, Lucarelli falling backwards and he didn't get a roll on the ball, he didn't get his hand through it. That's all perfectly normal and allowable. Very clever from Maurizio. Wasn't there to be hit, could see the block had come in, had space behind it, used it well. Brazil come back with a block of their own.
themselves going. They need some points on the serving line. Good chase from Brendel. Very good play. Bruno taken all the way over to the baseline nearly, but still able to get that ball out wide for Lucarelli to work his magic. straight over the top of Bruno. Iran leading by three in the technical timeout, the first lead they've had at a technical timeout in the match. Brazil at the moment leading the way as uh, the best scorers. It's just being told, look, you're on the big screen. It's the Iranian supporters telling the Brazilian supporter. Great harmony here. Osaka between the fans. A great match we're witnessing on court between the teams. That is a wonderful swing from Lucarelli. Such a shame, a brilliant dig from Lucarelli, only for Brazil to touch the net. Souza goes back to serve. Ball just a little tight to the net, but Luke really did very well to make something happen. is on for Brendel. Well, Lucas had got blocked earlier and he's making sure he gets that point back for his team. Hands up, gets in, gets across. Interesting that he goes down 
drops his hands down. He just stood there with his hands up in the air and gone off his toes. He'd have got exactly the same amount of height. Would have been in the zone quicker as well. Good up from Lucarelli. Well, Bruno gets away with that. He went to the middle, but Iran's block were already there and waiting. It was all crowded on that left-hand side of court. Getting it back, getting it out to Wallace. The ball goes down. Brazil level, and Iran called the timeout. Quite deep the Libero. Wouldn't have got that ball if it was tipped over the top. As it was, it's off the block and away to the side. He had absolutely no chance of getting that. It's a bad poor back to serve. This is the rotation that Iran got five points on at the start of this set. They will be keen to get off this one as quickly as possible. to work for it. Mauricio to the serving line. Got that from Bruno. Wallace, as calm as you like, gets the block out. And then Del Zotto, the coach for Brazil, enjoying that point as he celebrated. again. A late press from Lucarelli. An evenly poised third set. And getting off to a great start, getting Four points from service, but Brazil have clawed it back with four points of their own over the course of this race to uh, 16. The second technical timeout. That's a complete mishit, unfortunately, for Iran. Manazi, Manabi, who had the, the this swing. So it'll be Lucas now to serve. Came down exactly where it needed to from on the roof. Really made it look so easy. Just putting it out to four, one on one. I'll be putting it away. Get four there with the serve. Brazil siding out. He's very good at the moment. That's a clever swing from Maurizio as well. Saw the block diving into that side, trying to take away five, so he goes to one.
It's all going well for Brazil at the moment. No errors, getting good swings, getting block out or putting it on the floor. Iran would have been aware of that. Brazil have already done that once during this competition. It was Wallace to Lucarelli. This time it's Bruno to Maurizio. Second ball gets put away. And Brazil lead by two at the technical timeout after trailing by five at the start of this set. Oh, worth another watch. Nobody there at all for Iran had no clue what was going on. No chance of stopping it. A serve from Lucarelli, all that looked to be miles in. That looked to be a good foot inside the baseline. But then again, that's my eyes, my view. Brazil are challenging. Well, not a foot in then, but certainly in nonetheless. Great serve from Lucarelli, he'll go again. 17-14 up, two sets to nothing up. Oh, Maruf has touched the net. He went to play that ball over, just lost his balance in it. 18 14 up into Iran. We were trailing by four, now call the timeout. No more timeouts left for Iran. Wonderful block for Maurizio, and he will enjoy that. There's nothing better as a player when you go and get a massive one-on-one. -on -one. Even if it goes to the baseline or goes down on the uh, towards the centre line, still a great feeling. Lucarelli will serve again, and the five-point deficit Brazil had is now a five-point lead for them. Really have turned this set around. And now Souza gets straight in, commits on Said. Two big blocks in a row for Brazil. They lead by six. Brazil can 
continuing to turn the screw here, continuing to apply the pressure. Bruno getting a good touch. Another point for Brazil. That ball that uh, Bruno played was off the heel of his hand. No carry in that situation. So just trying to slow things down a tad. Salah Soup coming in, Maruf's gone off. Ready to serve again. Huge block this time from Sousa, and Iran cannot find a way through. It is all Brazil. That's an excellent block. That's up and across the net. Could still go a little bit earlier. More changes. Off goes Ibadipour. Oh, fantastic. There was a moment then when the players looked at each other, but still time for Lucarelli to make a dig, and another dig from Lucarelli. Fantastic point for Brazil. Lucarelli, amazing. It's just that moment when... That was what happened. Oh, that's just fantastic. The first thought was it was off of uh, Brendel. And a late reaction, but it wasn't. It hit Lucarelli first, then Brendel, and then Lucarelli with the presence of mind to go, not only get it, but bring it back into play as well. Fantastic. Oh, that's too low. And it's now going to be match points for Brazil. What a serving run this is from Lucarelli. He's not tried to win points. He's got himself on a rhythm going. He's then just put the ball in play. And it's now a 10-point lead for Brazil. Quite extraordinary when you think they were five points down at the start of this set. You can forgive him going for that one. Early show it's to an end for the moment. It's all over. Brazil take the set 25 15, and they have beaten Iran by three sets to love. Brazil will top the table, and it's very much anyone's tournament at the moment here in Osaka. Still getting the job.